Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. I received a question someone asked how to scan documents from Canon Pixima TX7650 to your computer. You need to make sure that the printer and the laptop are connected to the same network and you download the necessary software or you connect this printer using USB cable. USB cable is not included in the packaging. So this printer and laptop both are connected together. To scan your document, you need to open up the scanner and stick the document you want to scan. You can select the function, you can select the scan function from the printer touch screen, or you can also select the scan function from your laptop. So to do the scan from the laptop, you select scan. You need to make sure so you start from this arrow. So you need to make sure your paper aligned from this end. And if you look here, it was, it's also showing us A4 paper. Now then the next is we need to go to the laptop from here the document we have is a4 paper now if you are scanning you also need to make sure you are scanning document if you are scanning photo then you need to select photo then the paper size is a4 resolution you scroll down the maximum resolution is 600 dpi it is currently in in 300 what i notice is when you scan with 600 dpi it will take a longer time so we're going to use 300 dpi then select scan now this document is scanning here we go this is the document we scan very quick if you want to scan the second one okay you need to select plus there are two plus here but you need to make sure you select plus at the bottom not the plus on the side so you need to select the plus okay within the screen so select plus okay it gives you option for you to put the second document you want to scan so open up this printer close it now select scan And these are the document we scan. The first one, this is the second one. So you have the two pages here. So things you need to be aware is just make sure you select the plus on the button here and not the, the other plus at the side. The other plus is for you to add another printer. So you need to make sure you select the plus here. Now the next thing to do is once you scan the document, okay, you select save. So select save at the button and make sure it's format is pdf and save all okay you can give the document name and it's also showing us pdf then you select where you want to save this document you want to save it in the download you select save now it's saving please wait momentarily scan result has been saved to the following folder click ok now this document is saved. So once you save the document and you want to print it out, then you need to select print document. Okay, once you select print document, the document scanned, select it and click it open. Then they give you option for you to print this document. Okay, this is the document we scanned. And see first and second one. To print it out, you need to scroll down and make sure you select the correct paper, portrait and print all, plain paper, quality and then also select print on one side or long side or print on both side long edge then you select print automatic in terms of where do you want the paper to be printed out you can select automatic or rear paper tray or from the bottom casket so we have it in automatic select then you select how many copies then you select print
here we go so this is the document we scanned and printed it out okay so this is how to scan your document likewise print it out and also save it to your pc this printer i received a question someone asked how to print document from laptop to this printer there are two ways to print document from your laptop first of all you need to make sure the laptop and the printer are connected to the same network and once you've done that then you need to go to your file explorer the first option is for you to go to your file explorer this is file explorer then you need to scroll to wherever you save your documents so i'm going to go to downloads okay and select the document you want to print double click it this is the document i want to print three pages document now to print this document out you you can select printer icon from the top or you select control plus p now this print setting will come up to print your document you need to scroll down to select the correct printer this printer is canon tx7650 so scroll down from the drop list and canon tx7600 series is ready you select okay now you select the next is for you to select how many copies we want to print this one copy then the next option pages if you want to print all of them then you select all if you want to print only one page or page in range then you can select page in range okay so currently we are printing i want to print this document select the fourth options to for you to print only page one to two for instance okay so we are going to print only page one to two you also have option for you to print odd page or even page now the next option is color you scroll down from the list so this document is in colored colored you can print black and white the next is for you to print on both sides scroll down we want to print this on both sides long edge flip then scroll down again for more certain the paper size is a4 if you want to print actual size then you select actual size which is 100 percent so the paper will be bigger okay and one page per sheet then you select print now this document is printing Here we go this is the document very quick we printed this document double-sided now another thing i want to another way to print documents okay is for you to go to canon connect app to print your document from this app okay another option is for you can so from this app you can do so many things you can print documents print photo scan so you need to select print documents app now you need to go to your laptop files where you save your document you want to print so go to want to print this from download okay then you scroll down and look for the document you want to print vanity tutorial select on it S select open so the document now is going to attach here now it's actually this application uses the following type of paper click close now this is the document we have here so two pages okay now the next thing you need to do is you need to select the paper type from the top so you need to scroll down once you have the paper you want to print out you need to go on top and select paper type if you have various set of paper you can print a5 a4 b5 4x6 5x7 7x10 8x10 and l so you can scroll down and so many other paper you can print okay but you need to make sure you load the correct paper okay in your printer now we what we have here is a4 now the next thing is we want to print this document 
all and also media type is plain paper quality you scroll down to quality you have high standard standard and draft okay or you can also select auto okay now the next thing is printing on both sides we printed on both sides earlier so now i want us to print this on one side only and also we want to print this black okay so print on one side printing now the next thing is color we want to print this gray scale is black okay and the document is changing to black color here we go so you change the color to black now paper source so because this printer got two paper tray so you have casket and the rear paper tray so it can select it can select automatic or you scroll down to select rear tray or casket so but if you leave it automatic the printer will pick whichever one then the next is how many copies we want to print this only one copy then you select print Here we go. This is a document we printed single page black. Single page black. Now, if you want to print your document again, you go to print document. Okay, then you scroll and look for the document you want to print. Wherever you save your document, select, click it open. Once you click it open, the document will be attached. Okay, you can see this one is a single page document. Okay, now if you scroll down, you change the color. Instead of gray scale, you change it to color. And document now is changed to color. So you will see the document you are printing. So now this document is changed to color. Okay, now, and it's only one page. Then if you want to print this document from the rear, paper tray so you select rear paper tray okay and it will show you rear paper tray then you select print so now this document is going to print from rear paper tray there we go so it picked he picked the paper from the rear paper tray. Here we go. This is the document we printed from the rear paper tray. Colored. So this is how to print your document from laptop to Canon Pixima TX7650. I'm going to show you how to copy document from Canon Pixima TX7650i. So open up the scanner and stick the document and face down. Make sure the document you want to copy or scan is aligned properly. Okay, from the angle arrow here. Then you select copy. Now you select standard or frame erase copy oversize. So select standard. Now you select, select how many copies. If you want to copy more than two, then you select copy. You, you type the number, then select OK. So now this document is going to copy 23, but I don't want to do that. Then select the number, type 1, and select OK. Then go to the setting, scroll down. You can see intensity is standard, magnif, same size, paper SRC, auto, paper size A4, print quality standard, layout. If you want to print on both sides, you select print on both sides, scroll to print on both sides select ok then select black or color to start copy color now you need to open up the scanner and remove this paper and place the second paper you want to copy close it 
then select scan You can do this, place another original. You can do this as many as you like. So now it's printing. There we go. So this is the document we copied, double-sided, colored. Now, I want us to copy this document black. So stick the document you want to copy, glass scanner, close it. You select how many copies, one, then go to the settings. Okay, once you select the setting, then you scroll down, keep going. Now we want to change this to single page. You select one sided, select OK. So copy is one, intensity standard, magnificent sense size, paper SR auto, paper size A4, plain paper, print quality standard, layout none, print on one side, select OK. Now in terms of color, then you select from the top. Okay, for you to select, once you select all the function, then you select from the top to copy, copying black and white. There we go. This is the document we copied, black and white single page the first one we copied it colored double-sided if you're happy with this tutorial please do me a favor like share and subscribe it helps the channel